Which direction do I turn? Uh, there you go, yeah. Okay. So, so it should be clockwise. And, then, and of course, every time, every once in a while, you stop, you stop, and walk them in, walk them in a little bit, and so on and so forth. Yeah, let me, let me suggest something. This hand, And that's the shortest distance then. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Swing it towards me. And these come in. And now, do they clip? You lose at the bottom, right there. Okay. You see how that so clips? So it just kind of clips in place. Yeah, so again, that. you swing it. Now, you can probably see better from here. Okay. You see that little so notice clip? So if you come around here, you can see the clip. You can see this clip right there. So, so the leg goes place. underneath it. Right. And you push it in, and it'll oh, yeah, clip. Yeah, that makes sense. You'll secure it. That makes sense. Okay. And once you have these two up there, then you go ahead and roll it all. Crank it in. Now, once you close it, it'll lock on the top. Okay. Okay, so you just keep rolling it back yep. in. Until you cannot turn that thing on. And then Chastity said there was going to be straps with right. it. You get the straps. And when do you use those? You don't need them. You That's don't? Just my opinion. Okay. okay. People put them on there to... to when they're traveling? When they're traveling. This thing is not going to come out. It won't? But again, a lot of people put them on. That, that, that's fine. Okay. Um, okay. And then these two, of course, then you put them up. Now, yours are going to be inside. Ours are already inside. So we'll make sure. Now, <laughs> okay, yeah, yes, I want to make sure. But now, we're going to go inside, but let me hook up a bottle with propane so that we can fire up the fire engine. Right. So that way, we make sure that it's all right. And where can we get uh, propane from? Which one are you headed? Are you guys going just north Just of north of here. We're going to the... Cardwell? Yeah. In Ennis, which is right next to Bartwell, there's a couple of places right off this highway, um, tractor supply. We'll, we'll oh, okay. Just to let you ask your salesperson, see where the nearest is. Okay. Okay. You go grab a lot. Okay. What? Have a lighter. And then you guys have to manually light. So you okay. have you need one of these, of course. Okay. You have gas. And there she goes. Um, it of course, works. every time you use the stove, please use the vent hood, but make sure you unlock the, the vent. Exactly. Okay. Now use this or windows open or the fan going. Have plenty of ventilation, man. Uh, that. Produces a lot of carbon monoxide. Correct. You don't want that building up. Right. 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 And of course, you travel with this thing down. Down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the AC and the heater and the furnace all are all connected right here with the new thermostat. Okay. So you work everything from here. Um, the button at the bottom, that's the one that the, the control knob, basically, or the control button. So I don't know if you can see from where you're at, but you have to press it to wake it up and then you press it and then it'll tell you what it's doing whether it's the fan uh fan on high, yeah fan on on, on on low right now it's fan high now it'll say high cool so that's air high cool is air and it just cut it on in, and that's yeah. high speed most people get a low cool Okay. It's a little quieter. Okay. It just kind of It just down. cut down. It's yes. It's a little less noisy. Yes. Um, okay. And of course, that's the AC. If right. You, and if you keep going, you're, you're going to turn the heater on. Now, this is a little a little different. So, you, it's, it says cool and then low. Yes. Okay. Let's wake it up. And then it'll say auto. The auto means 
as the temperature changes, this thing could turn the heater on. It'll switch. It'll switch. Just in the event that you know the weather's kind of crazy. It's, it's a, a smart. It's a smart thermostat. Exactly. It's okay. A smart one. Uh, and then if you keep going, it'll say heat. Heat. But when the heat comes on, both the uh, the heater up there and the furnace kick in at the same time. Oh. Now, okay. it's pretty hot in here, so it, it didn't come on. So, what we have to do is to adjust to the temperature. The temperature. Yes. See, it's at 70, and the inside temperature is 82, so it didn't need to come No. Out. So, let's go above 82. <laughs> yeah. We're gluttons for punishment. Let's go to 85. <laughs> I'm sure I'm glad this is not summertime. Yeah. Yeah. 85, and then here in just a few, it takes a few seconds, and then that. But we don't have to light anything, and that's electric. That's electric. That's and that's the exactly. propane. That's propane. Yeah. And it will automatically light. Automatic. It went back to 82. It, yeah. Yeah, that's the, the temperature inside. Inside yeah. temperature. Yeah, then well, if you want to raise it up, of course. Let's give it wow, some. 90. An yeah. incentive. <laughs> yeah. And then it, it went back to 82. Yeah. It'll, it's convinced that. that yeah, need to I mean, it's. <laughs> you probably have to press the wake up button and then do that, I bet. It, uh, it actually, it's right there. He, it says he. Yeah. It says we'll, we'll give it a minute. Um, now, for the water heater. Yes. Remember there was a switch yes. outside? Yes. There's the other one right, right there. Right there. And what's this? That's the battery cutoff switch. And, and is it on or off now? It, yeah. It's on. It's and on. how do you know? How do you, well? Well, down must be off. Is down right. off? Down is off. Now let me let me explain how you use it. So when you when you guys have the trailer part part somewhere, you're not using it. Yes. The battery gets drained, right? Because of the because sensors of and items, stuff. Exactly. Right. It, it keeps draining. There's right. nothing stopping it from draining. So right. to keep the battery from getting drained, what you're going to do, you're going to turn it down. Yes. And then you pull the key out and, of course, keep it somewhere. That will isolate the battery. Okay. So that's pretty much what you have to do. Now, right now, of course, nothing happened because we're hooked up to electricity. And it still runs. And it still runs. And it's charging while we're hooked up and to it's the electricity. Charging. Exactly. If that's on, it's charging. If yes. it's disconnected, it is not it's charging because it's isolating exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. It's isolating. So that's pretty much what's happening. Now, right over there by your foot, there's an alarm. Yes. That's the uh, propane detector and, and the carbon monoxide Oxide alarm. sensor. Right. And up there you have a smoke alarm. Now this one has a battery that you have to replace Chain. once a year. And this one's hooked up to power? It's hardwired. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the controller that's in here, is that a single stage controller or is it a smart controller? Then it just kicked in. It didn't. It is a, I think, I think it's a three stage. It's a three, three stage. stage. Is it really? Yeah, it's a smart charger. Three, three stage means certain amount of amps go to the battery charger. Uh huh. Uh, 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 dedicated amperage. I, I need to. This is new, so I need to read up on the. It's a new one. Yeah, it's different it's a, than the one that you new, used to have. Maybe a month. We, we, uh, we okay, so yeah, I didn't think they were smart controllers yeah. before. Yeah. And of course, they're they're made for AGM batteries. And yes. They, they made to, you know. Do you know if this one, if a uh, Lithium will work with this particular charger. Any, any battery. Lithium, it will. Lithium or, or wet cell. Or will it charge up to the 14 volts that a uh, that a lithium? Because a lithium, yes. It'll it'll know. Which and it does have fast charge. It has a fast charge. Oh shoot! Yeah, so that's wonderful. It, it, if it's if the battery is pretty low, then it'll fast charge it and then kick into. A Charger. Yes, that's a multi-stage. Yeah. That's actually what a multi-stage thing does, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Like back in the early 90s, mid-90s, there was a, just a, you know. All right. Uh, it's, it's yeah, good. it's, so let's turn it off. Let's actually go back to the AC. Now, uh, one quick, quick question. This will bring, th they both go on to bring it up to temperature, then this cuts off, and then that'll that, run, that'll, right? That'll maintain it from now on. 
That's what I thought. And you can also have just the gas furnace on if you decide to do that. If you're boondocking. You then, but you have to tell it to you be gas. It, yes. Is yes. there a setting when you go yeah, through that heat, button? Then gas. Okay. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you can't run that, you can still run that. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now let's turn this down because we turned it. Yes, the we pool. did. So we're gonna let's let's say sixty. <laughs> and then give it a, a, another a minute or so and right. then switch okay. over to... Uh, off topic, is there touch up paint? There's a need, oh yes, it definitely does need it. Yes, I'll give my guy a touch up. Um, of course, this is going to be the bed area. Most right, people right. So probably, I mean, I'm not... We're going to do that. That's why I was asking if you had a touch up kit. Yeah, I'll give him a touch up. Yeah. Um, now, that's a double bed or full-size bed, so most people get a, you know, they'll get sheets and stuff. And most people put a, either a memory foam topper or... We've got one in the car. Radio. You guys are ahead of us. <laughs> the window right behind you, ma'am, that's the egress window. Yes. So, of course, in the event that there's a fire bear trying to come in through the door, then you bail out for that. <laughs> you can exit. There you yeah. go. Of course, these trucks don't catch on fire. They're all fire Uh True. Yeah, uh, the carpet. So the egress out. window pops out. When you pull the handles, the window hinges up. It hinges so you have up. To push it, it, it won't so fall. You, so you do this and yep. push. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. yeah. Now we I'm do recommend. on bears. <laughs> there you go. We do recommend that, of course, you keep these windows closed during travel. During travel, locked and blinds down. Now you guys see these uh, little oops. Little straps or loops. Yes. So if you do, slide down. Put the rail through the loop there. And then you tighten it. Oh, you snug it up. Uh, okay. And that will keep it from, you know, banging around, swinging around. Correct. A lot. Yeah. Correct. Um, remember the awning? So in here, uh -huh. you have the both the crank. Remember the crank. Okay. Uh huh. And the center piece. Okay. So, there it is. Um, when you're making the bed, is there an, there must be another piece? Exactly, one that goes, one that fills up the gap. Right. Much. And then it's in the closet. It's in the closet. And I'll okay. do that for you guys. I'll turn that in a bit. Let me just touch that up before you guys leave. Well, actually, what we probably will do... The compressor just kicked in, by the way. <laughs> yes. And here's the storage space under here. What no, we, actually, no storage under no there. Storage it is under access there. to your pump. That's to the... Uh, uh, yeah, the bypass and, and all that. And this is hot, so it's... What is this? That is the uh, controller. The converter. Converter. <laughs> said the wrong... I knew what it was, but I said the wrong thing. Okay, As we have harder. breakers and fuses. Yes. Oh, okay. It's like the fuse box. So this is the, this is storage. Yes. Yes, they have a storage there, there, of course. And are those USBs down there? Yes. That's uh, what I'm looking here. at. That's there. a new one. So there's the USB there and the USB yes. behind yes. you. So that, that's okay. new, of course. That that comes standard with, with the new wood. New, the new color. Floor, the new thermos. That's all that. Right. Is. The, the bug screens out there, all that is yes. standard. Yes. Package. Yes. What I was thinking, if you can show us, I, what I was thinking is we're going to hook it up at the campground, run everything, make sure we don't have like water leaks or anything uh, like that. So what I was thinking of is we would hook it all up and then I could, if we could leave the bed not made right not now, made. Okay. Well, and so then we'll I can get up. then I can get to that, and I can ch ch see, yeah. Yeah. and then and then just to make sure that that I mean, do y'all test it for water? We test everything. Yeah. Oh, you do. Yeah, we pressure test everything, make sure everything works. The water here, fire everything up, and then we shut everything off and drain the lines. Oh. So summertime, water get, go bad. Yeah. Cold weather, water can freeze, so we we drain it every time. But y'all do test it. Oh yes, 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 yes. We do 
because some people are saying they just buy them and then they leak, but I don't get that part. Um, I, well, here's the, even though we test every single unit, every single unit goes through a very thorough uh, uh, inspection, right? Sure. Now, sometimes towards the end of the line, they might have to repair something, and the guy probably removed the line and yes. forgot to tighten it back up. Uh, so it is an error. But it can just, happen. It but can happen. So I that's why it. a lot of guys, they go to a local a deal and they just test it. That's what we're that's what I was thinking we do. Perfect, perfect. We're gonna camp familiar. overnight real close to here and then if something just yeah, is just I'll bring it back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what the demo guys, which is me and the, the other guy, we try to go over everything but we just don't have water and that, that that's the one thing we don't test. Yes, the, the while process, we're here. While right, we're right, you. exactly. Yeah. Uh but yeah every I mean we push out over 700 units a year. And right. We get one or two a year. That right. And of course, that's just not, and not when, bad at all. And when we run the water into the system, it's a good idea to open the pressure relief valve on the heater to let the air out. Right? That's For the a, water heater one, to fill one up? One way of doing it. The other way is to open the faucet. So Will it automatically the fill the heat, water heater then? So you don't well, necessarily you would to run water through the lines anyway, wouldn't you? No, not well, so, not necessarily. Yeah. And then, and then, if your city water, it's city provides the pressure. If you fill your tank, you turn on the pump, then you're providing the pressure by the pump, by the pump yes. which is back there. Right. And of course, when you hook up city water, no need for the pump. No, and you shouldn't be really running them at the same time, right? No need to. Huh. I, I, yeah. Water coming from there, that's going to provide it. Yeah, there's no point. No point. So the the water pump is off by default? Yes. Here, city? Okay. Uh, always. Everything got You have to oh. manually turn it on. Okay. The switch for the fantastic <laughs> man. <laughs> Let me get a, a little... Paper top, hang on. A little bit of paper hang on. They had water in the system. I think Sam and Max are going to actually go right here. Underneath? Well, they would fit here, kind of, but not very well. But they'll fit right there. Yes, well. they will. So This bed is not real giant. Right here. Well, the, yeah, there's a plug the here, Katie. Place. Yeah. Hidey hole there to get yep, that that's there. roof vent. Uh, of course, on a nice day when you don't need the heater, the AC, you just use this guy. You go to this control panel. So there's uh -huh. a button that says on and off. Yes. Oh, when you press it, it opens up and it starts to go like it is right now. Mm -hmm. Once you're done, you press it again, it shuts completely off, closes by itself. Let's turn it back on. Um, it blows the air in or out. You, Tell it which way to go, and you press this button to to change the direction. So if I press it, this thing comes to stop here in just a second, and it goes the other way. And then you have ten different fan speeds, so you can speed it up. You have ten different ten, fan speeds. Ten different fan speeds. So okay. They go really fast. And I think I saw somewhere there's a remote for there's that. A remote control for this thing. So if you didn't want to reach up here. You can. Where is the remote? It's in there in the blue bag. I'll show you what's in there in just a second. Okay. And of course, once you're done, shut it off. You shut it off. It has a, again, built in rain cover so it does not allow. Yeah, rain. I saw that. I like so, that. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, inside of this cabinet, you can put a microwave if you like. There's an out. Yeah, okay. Toaster, something like that. Um, refrigerator. So, the fridge controls from here from this little panel so you don't have to go anywhere else um, anytime you're parked like we are right now to turn it on have it on auto and here in just a few seconds it'll it'll go to auto but because we're hooked up electricity it'll automatically go to AC to electricity okay and it just went to AC by itself if there was no electricity then it 
it would have went to gas. Okay. Uh, it's a second option. Second option. It looks for AC first. If no AC is available, then it look, uh, then it goes to gas. Okay. So that's pretty much what it does. Okay. If it didn't find either one. It, would, it, it will go to the check light. Check light means this fridge is not cooling, it is not working, it is not doing anything. It will not go to battery. Never. Never. Not on its own. You not have, on its own. You have to tell it to go to battery. Yes. So the only time you use battery is when you're traveling. And you want to keep the fridge it, cold. It, right. So right before you guys take off, press the button in the middle once to make it go to DC. Battery. So you have to manually make it go to this. Right. But we also talked about that and you said that the car may not support that. You may not be able to actually run the refrigerator and keep your battery charged. Right. It won't do both. It can only do one. It can it's only just... do one. Well, won't that produce a drain on the battery if it's running though? Yes. Okay. Yeah, most people I think are like running on propane. If they have propane, they're they're running on propane on the road. And I know, <laughs> so I know the, that's a big discussion about. A big discussion. Yes, it, it does, is. Does the solar power charge the battery? You're not going to have what the solar. It? You're not going to have no, the solar I mean, panels like out. If, if you're wind docking, this is right. solar. Right. It does charge the battery, but the batter you would run it off propane if you're propane, boondocking. Yeah. Right. Because the amount of electricity that it runs on when it's on gas is really small. Oh yeah, yeah, very minimal. Yeah. And of course, you decide how cold you want it. Right. So you just change the uh, temperature settings right there. And of course, other than that, it's a nice Not refrigerator. Enormous. Right. And a lot. So make sure you always hear click that. Oh. That tells you the door is locked. latched. Um, any questions in the bathroom? No. Let's see. So this is watertight, correct? That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, let's see. It's got a little holder there, little sink, two pockets, and the shower curtain. The light. shower curtain, the, the first there's a little window with a screen. Right. Now and the, then the fan, fan, you just press on. Yep, press right. it, and it comes on one one speed, and it's one an direction. Exhaust fan. Yep. Yeah. Now when you turn it off, pull the handle down to close it. That one. Just pull it straight down. Might be a little stiff, but that's that's there it is. So and you want to be traveling with it down. Obviously. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And then the shower to switch to shower. Uh, you pull the little knob in the middle. Oh. Okay. okay. And then the, the drain just lifts out. Yes. Our our decals are not in the closet. Yeah, they are. They're right here. Oh, they're here. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a different closet. Oh, there they are. And okay. of course, in there. Again, all the goodies that you guys get. The wheel, the hose, the 12 volt LCD battery monitor, the other part for the table. The and what's that thing that hinges? That's just like a, that's cover? a cover? It's exactly. like a hinged cover? Just a little protector. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like the vinyl floor. And of course, a fire extinguisher out here. Okay. It's more accessible. Yep. Okay. Okay. And the Any questions in there? Is that the sewer hose? It is the a sewer thing that the connects to the connector. ground. Oh, correct. It it's the thing that connects to the ground. Okay. And is there a tire? Yeah, there's a tire Should tool. Be, yep. And what the torque tire. do the lug nuts on the wheels get torqued to? Uh, anywhere from 90 to 120. Pounds. Okay. Okay. And it's good to check those how often? Uh, the company that makes the actual, they say every 50 for the first 200 miles. Every 50 miles? For the first 200 miles. Ah. Uh -huh. So they tend to loosen? They might. They might. They might. 
Okay. They might. So they just want you to check them to be sure. They just want you to be it's safe. It's uh, a yeah. I've never heard of one moving at all, coming off at all. So. But I got gotcha. you. I don't want to tell you don't do it. I, yeah. <laughs> be the I, first I, I, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So yeah, check them. We're pretty much done, guys. Let me touch that up over there. Let me get someone to take this off because okay. I can do it just with a little bit of Windex. Probably needs a little more, uh, a little something different. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut everything off, uh, install that breaker truck because you have to sink it. Yes. And then finish and the rest of it. Out. Okay. If you guys have any paperwork and with your salesperson, we do. Go ahead and take care of that. Give me about 20 minutes. I'll get you guys. And going. if you can show us how to set up the bed. How to take the table down and set it up that would be um, helpful okay let, let's you want to do that now and before let's just, yeah, yeah let's take a look I mean, sure. you just lift it off. Lift it. you wiggle it and of course these guys get rid of them okay that's the and then the bar. other board can go here or towards the back and of course, the cushions then will like fill the. And bag. where's the other piece? Is it in the closet? Yes. In the closet. Okay. And you say you want me to leave it up as a table? Leave it up as a table. Okay. Please. That's the cheater bar. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's the cheater <laughs> bar that he <laughs> Yes, it is. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. You got cheater bars. Already built there. in. <laughs> and you're Victor, right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Victor. Oh, no, Victor. thank you, guys. And we need the. What did you do with the envelope? In the car. I stuck it in the front seat. All right, let me get my guy to touch that up and keep going. So I will see you guys later on. Okay. And if something comes up, again, I'll see you. Let me know. Okay. Sounds great. Can't wait.